Okay, I've got a roller coaster kind of going around a corkscrew here. Okay, and at point A, the velocity of this car is 15 meters per second. Okay, and the tangential acceleration is given as g uh, cosine of psi, which is 40, and I want to find the acceleration at point A. So this is traveling in this direction right here with a velocity of 15 meters per second and an acceleration of 9.8 times the cosine of 40 meters per second squared. Okay, that's the acceleration and that's the velocity of that guy right there. Now, what I'm looking at here, okay, is I've got an R kind of pointing out from the center, right? That's my R axis. My um, theta axis is this axis right here as I'm going around the circle. And then I've got a Z axis heading in the direction of travel right there. So there's my three-dimensional uh, thing that I'm looking at. And I'm, again, I'm given my, my, my velocity and acceleration shown right there. Okay. So what I need to do to basically find the total acceleration is I kind of need to go through and figure out R, R dot, R double dot, all that stuff, right? So what I know is that R is five and it's constant, right? As this goes around the corkscrew, okay, the velo or the the radius stays at five meters away as it goes around the corkscrew. So R is five, R dot is going to be zero, and R double dot is going to be zero as well. Okay, and again, what I'm really looking for here, let's let's take a minute and talk about what what it is that I, I'm looking for uh, here. And that is my total acceleration, right? Okay, so I'm going to need AR, I'm going to need A theta, and I'm going to need AZ. Okay, where AR is R double dot minus R theta dot squared. A theta is R theta double dot plus 2 r dot theta dot. So at this point, oh, and az is uh, just essentially z double dot. We'll get to that one in a second. So at this point, I know this guy goes to 0, because again, r double dot goes to 0. And I know this guy goes to 0, right? Because r dot goes to 0. So what I need now is I basically need theta dot, OK? And I need um, theta double dot, right? So what I know is I know that this thing has a velocity like so, right? So from that velocity of 15, I can find the velocity in the theta direction as just 15 cosine 40. By what I know about the velocity of the track and how my orientation is all set up, OK? What I also know is that v theta equals r times theta dot, OK? Putting these two together, what I know is then that 5 theta dot equals 15 cosine of 40. Solving that for theta dot, I know that theta dot then equals uh, 2.298. Okay, so from that, I can come up here and I can find the acceleration in the R direction now that I know um, theta dot and I get R is ne negative 5 times 2.298 squared. Okay, and that's going to equal negative uh, 26.4. Okay. Now, going to theta double dot, okay, I am going to find, similarly, I'm going to find the acceleration in theta. Now, it gives me my acceleration, 
right, in that same direction, right? So that is going to become uh, 9.8 times the cosine of 40, okay, times the cosine of 40. Okay, and again, it gives me that right up here. That gives me my acceleration. So I'm going to use the same idea to calculate that. The other thing that I know is that a theta is r theta double dot plus 2 r dot theta dot. And of course, we already showed that this guy equaled 0, right? So from that, I can find then that 5 times theta dot. Well, I guess I don't even really need to find theta double dot at this point, right? Because I can just find a theta dot directly, right? So I don't even really need this stuff here. I can just find that a theta dot, or I'm just sorry, a theta, okay, equals, I don't have that in front of me, give me two seconds to type it in, times the cosine of 40, times the cosine of 40, and I get 5.75 theta dot, right? So I've got, this is a r, well, I'll just plug it back in up here. This is 5.75 that I found below there. Now I need to find z dot, which is going to be the same idea as what I have here, except that instead of 9.8 cosine of 40 times the cosine of 40, it's going to be times the sine of 40. Okay. Oops, not equals the sine of 40, times the sine of 40. Okay, so it'll be the same idea, and when I plug that in, and I type that in, I get 4.83 for the acceleration in the z direction. So from that, I go right here, and I get the uh, acceleration in the z direction equal to 4.83. Okay, so now if I want to find the total magnitude of the acceleration, it's just going to be the square root of the sum of the squares, where I'm going to have 26.4 squared, which is by far the biggest one. Then 5.75 squared plus uh, 4.83 squared. Square root of the sum of the squares on that one, and I get an acceleration equal to 27.5 meters per second squared. Okay, and we call these cylindrical coordinates because it adds that z component onto it. But again, the same idea where you find your r dots, your r double dots, a little bit differently this time because it gave me some of the acceleration that I could have found, that I found the, um, the acceleration in the theta, acceleration in the z pretty directly. Uh, but then from that, I could easily calculate each component and then take the square root of the sum of the squares to find uh, the magnitude.